Praise the Lord, everybody. God is so good and truly the Lord's mercy, it endures until the end. The Bible declares in the Gospel of John, the 20th chapter and the 20th verse, and when he had so said, he showed unto them his hands and his side. Then were the disciples glad when they had saw the Lord. Let us pray. Father, thank you so much for your word. God, I pray that you would bless it and that it would go forth in clarity and that you would lead me by your spirit so that your people would be edified and you would be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Again, I've taken for a subject matter. Have you seen them? You know, when you read the four um, gospels, the synopsis of the four gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, you will discover that each one takes us deeper into the time frame after the death, you know, the crucifixion of our Lord. And Matthew, who we're going to talk about tonight, who was a tax collector, no doubt he worked for the government. He took us behind closed doors. He let us know that the chief priests and the Pharisees went to Pilate and told Pilate, you know what, Pilate, you better seal the outside of the sepulcher with wax so that none of the disciples will come in the middle of the night and steal away the body and declare that, you know, Jesus had risen. But I want you to know that Jesus had already declared declared and um, that if you tear down this temple, if you destroy it, he said he will raise it back up after the third day. Hallelujah. And so Jesus, just as he declared, I want you to know that Jesus did rise from the grave. Hallelujah. And I want you to know that no wax outside, you know, the sepulcher could hold Jesus in because truth be told, Jesus could have went through the stone. But God, because he is sovereign, because he is the ruling authority, he sent an angel. And guess what? The angel caused an earthquake. And what did the earthquake do? The earthquake moved the stone away. And I want you to know tonight that the earthquake did not move the stone away so that Jesus could get out. But it moved the stone away so that we could get a peek in. So that we would be able to declare without a shadow of a doubt that Jesus Christ has risen.